I'm officially caught up with work. It's about 10 a.m. and I'm going to go hit some trout spots that I haven't fished in a couple years. That's what the plan is. I'm gonna bounce around, try to get a few, and then maybe even cap it off with some redfish at the end. I'm not as consistent with them, which I tell people that and they think I'm crazy. They say trout's harder to catch, but I struggle with redfish because I have trouble finding them. So stay tuned, we'll see if we get on some, but either way, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, I can see water moving. I'd say about 40 yards up. Could be bait. I saw birds working back here earlier, but uh, it took me about 30 minutes to get back here. I don't see redfish yet. And that doesn't mean I'm going to see redfish. I feel like this is gonna be one of my best shots. There's two big redfish right here, guys. I'm trying not to make any noise. I'm two big reds right here. Right here. Coming right at me. fish all right that rejuvenated me i've been pulling for an hour and ain't seen nothing there's big reds in here everywhere Those that want it. Okay, there's two right beside me. Look at these fish right here. Just can't get them to eat. They won't make they won't eat the shrimp. I'm gonna take this off. Alright, first cast with the paddle tail. I've got 10 or 15 right here. They turned, they turned. Oh, they spooked. They spooked. Got one. Got him. Got him. The paddle tail. The paddle tail is what did it. Oh, that's awesome. The school is all still under me right here, guys. Look at this school. Oh my gosh, look at him under the boat. They would not hit the shrimp. Oh, he broke me off. No, he broke me off. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna re-rig and try to get back out there. All right, I just got set back up. I put another paddle tail on with a chartreuse tail. Let me get this rod out of the way. Man, that is a shame. That's 12 pound uh, test right there. He just powered through that thing. All right, that school of reds is about 40 yards out right now. I can't quite get there, but I'm gonna hang out here and hope that they work their way this way. They're right back there. Oh, I see them on the surface. That's cool. I'm about to just get out and walk. That might be a fish. Yep. Cool, man. Oh, that's awesome. I casted right on top of them right then. 
Now this time I'm ready for them. I've got 20 pound line, not that 12 like last time. The whole school is kind of working, uh, working their way this way. These fish, guys, look at these fish. Look at the school right here. Look at the school. This is insane. So that time I just casted right in the middle of them and I got lucky. Here we go. That's awesome, man. That's a beautiful fish right there, man. Look at that class. I've been all over these for the past hour. And then they disappeared on me. And uh, I couldn't find them, couldn't find them. I've been paddling around. I'm, out, I'm almost out of water right now. So I'm about to be walking the boat. But uh, luckily, the fish, this is, yeah, yeah, about 23 inches. I don't know how much you guys can see of that. Zero, about 23 right there. Well, this is a beautiful fish, man. I'm so pumped. I worked really hard, really hard for this fish. And he's gonna taste good. Man, there's nothing like pulling a boat in the wind against the tide. It is exhausting. Shout out to all the guides out there that do this for a living. It's hard, hard work. So the fact that I actually got one, I am so excited. I, I'm gonna hang out right here for a second. I did drop the anchor over and then I just had to cast as far as I could. But uh, I landed right in the fish. Luckily I hooked one, but I'm gonna try top water this time. Oh, I see the fish. They're about 200 yards up. All right, I gotta put this down. I'm gonna get back to pulling. All right, the school is right under me now. I've got a top water out. I'm gonna see if they'll hit that. Oh yeah. Oh no. One went after it and it spooked the rest of them. I think they're over there. Can't really tell. <laughs> oh, got one. <laughs> oh man, that was awesome. Oh, let me loosen the drag a little bit. That was awesome. <laughs> so what <laughs> you guys just saw it but so one fish went after it and then the rest of the fish just spooked because of they didn't know what was going on so i just slung it out there in front of where i thought they were going and hooked up man that was awesome <laughs> oh all right he's over here this time That's so cool. All right, I'm gonna net this big guy. Completely choked that. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's get him back. There he is. I've always heard that if you can get on them, that they'll eat top water at any time of day. And I guess the uh, rumors are true on that, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep hitting this area. I mean, there's multiple schools in here. The school I'm actually catching right now is mid twenties fish. I saw some upper slots, maybe even over slots first thing. So I'm gonna keep fishing the area and see if I can get on any more. It is getting choppy out here. Oh, they're right there. Okay, they're right there. See, that looks like bigger fish. Get it, get it, get it. I think they learned their lesson on that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch back to the jig. I think they're scared of the top water, which I don't blame them. That's how they got Larry. All right, they're right beside me this time. Oh, got him. 
got him. I'm five to ten feet from the boat. Gosh, that's cool. Man, this is so much fun. I've got the drag fairly loose because there's just not a lot of room for air right now. If they run under my anchor, I'm kind of screwed. So I'd rather them feel like they can get some juice and run straight out away from the boat instead of going frantic under the boat with like a lockdown drag. So that's, that's why it seems like I'm really taking my time. Just this anchor line, like you look guys, it's right there. He could easily run under that. So that's the logic there. we go number three baby what's good <laughs> oh man i needed a day like this oh i needed a day like this man thanking the lord <laughs> oh that's awesome thank you buddy appreciate you there he goes I actually recorded an outro on the water, but the wind noise was so bad that you couldn't understand me when I got home and watched it back. So here's a recap of the day. And I wanna end with a really important tip that has helped me out tremendously. If you're polling a new area or working over a new area that you've never been before, and you see any signs of life, that can be flounder, skates, rays, birds working, bait, any of these, then that's a good area to fish because that means there's good water in the area and it's holding that life. So comb that area over, work the edges, and try to patrol the perimeter and see if you can find the fish. That's helped me tremendously. And also, if you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe. And, and if you would, turn on notifications so that it automatically sends my videos to your YouTube channel. This may seem like it's not that important whether or not you hit the like button or subscribe, but these are important analytics that will take my data and push it to other users based on how effective my numbers are. So if I have a video with 200 views and I've got 50 likes, that means that I have a really good percentage of people that like my content and they will put me up in front of other people that don't have as good a percentage. So that's why we ask you guys to help us out in the way that we do. And um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna do a little bit of pier fishing or maybe some uh, surf fishing in the next couple of videos. Uh, I've caught some trout, caught drum now. and I'm just trying to keep it, keep rotating around for you guys. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate what you do. I appreciate you watching, sharing with friends, all of the above, and I'll keep trying to put out good content for you. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time.